Here is the solution for question 14. Now, here, question number 14 is, if x equals to 11, y equals to 23, and x minus y is equals to 30, find x plus y. So we are given magnitudes of x, y, x minus y, and we need to find magnitude of vector x plus y, right? So the concept is kind of like this. Let's think that we have a vector x along like this, horizontally. Let's put this 11 here, right? So that's the magnitude of x. And let's say y is kind of like this. And y is, let's say, 23. So this must have been longer anyway. Now let's put 23 here. Now what is x minus y? x minus y is the vector from y to x. So that is x minus y, correct? So here we have this as x and this is y for us and this is x minus y, right? So I'll write this as x minus y. Now we know x minus y and these two sides. So we know basically three sides and this is 30 for us. So we can use cosine law and find the angle. Let's say this angle is theta, right? So we can find this angle using cosine law. So we know 30 square is equals to 23 square plus 11 square minus 2ab cos theta, right? So we can write down this as so let me write this as x minus y square is equals to x square plus y square minus 2 times x, these are vectors, magnitude, x, y, cos of theta, right? That's cosine law. And from here, we can find what is cos theta equals to. So cos theta is equal to x square plus y square minus x minus y. Let me write it down first. So we'll bring this term on that side. We've already brought minus 2xy cos theta on the left side. So minus x minus y whole square, right? So this was 2 times. So we'll divide this by 2x y. So that's cos theta, right? So we can plug in the values and get the value of cos theta. So it gives us x squared is 11. So we have 11 squared plus 23 squared minus 30 squared divided by 2 times 11 times 23. So that gives us, within brackets, we'll write 11 squared plus 23 square minus 30 square bracket close divided by within brackets 2 times 11 times 23 bracket close and we get minus 0. Point, we get minus 0. 0.4940 minus 0. 0.4940 right so so that is the value of cos theta which we get from here now so we can find theta equals to cos inverse of this right so we'll do second function cos inverse of the answer and get 119.6 so theta equals to 119.6 degrees correct now that's the value of theta for us, 119.6, right? Doesn't look like, but that is what it is. Now, because I didn't really draw to the scale. Now we need to find what is x plus y. Now remember, if it is x plus y, then here is our x. So y will be parallel, so we'll make up, we'll go like this, and that becomes y for us, right? Now, 
in this triangle you will notice that this angle is theta right which we really found to be 119.6 so the the figure doesn't look like that but it is 119.6 so if this angle is 119.6 then what is this angle angle in between will be 180 let's call this angle as phi so this angle phi is going to be 180 degrees minus 119.6 right so phi is 180 minus 119.6 that gives us 60.4 degrees so we have 60.4 degrees as the angle between this two sides right and a plus b or x plus y is is this side correct that is x plus y right now to find x plus y we can use the angle phi which is 60.4 degrees so we'll use x plus y now whole square is equals to we'll use cosine law again but this time with an angle phi of 60.4 so we get x square plus y square minus 2 times x y cos of 60.4 right so that gives us x square is 11 so we'll plug in the values that is x square is 11 so we 11 square plus 23 square minus 2 times 11 times 23 and cos of 60.4 let me write cos of 60.4 right so we'll get 11 square plus 23 square minus 2 times within brackets 11 times 23 times cos of 60.4 and the answer is 400.0665 so we can round this to let us say approximately 400 so x plus y in this case is 400 units so I hope you understand the strategy the strategy is that from the given values of x y and x minus y will find the angle between the vectors x and y and to find x plus y 180 minus that value of theta gives us the angle between a and a plus b angle right as shown here and then we work out and get our answer so the answer is 400 and that's how you do it i hope you understand and appreciate it thank you